Hey, Charles Hoffman here from Plugin Alliance. Brainworks BX Glue is a versatile dual band VCA bus compressor plugin. It combines the best of analog heritage with modern features and tonal flexibility. BX Glue captures the legendary sound of British bus compressors while incorporating popular Brainworks features to deliver a glue compression workhorse. BX Glue is a good choice for gluing together subgroups and your stereo bus while maintaining snap and punch. Its musical sound is perfect for vocals, guitars, bass, drums, and various other applications that require some flavor. You can demo BX Glue by starting a free Mega Plan trial using the link below. This will give you access to all of Plugin Alliance's products for 30 days. Let's start things off with some before and after audio examples. BX Glue has a handful of controls you'd expect from a VCA compressor, like a ratio, threshold, attack, release, and mix knob. The threshold sets the level at which gain reduction is applied. Dropping it lower will result in greater gain reduction. Ratio adjusts the intensity of the gain reduction applied. Attack and release control the compression envelope. A fast attack leads to very responsive gain reduction, while a slow attack results in a less responsive form of compression. Release affects how quickly gain reduction stops being applied when the signal drops below the threshold. For more transparent sound, use a fast release. If you're looking for more of a gooey and musical sound, use a long release. When applying glue compression to a full mix, I like to start with an attack of 10 milliseconds and a release of 0.1 seconds. If I want less punch, I turn down the attack. If I want more punch, I turn it up. A fast release can sometimes lead to top end distortion, so I'll turn this up if I hear any of that. I'll also turn this up if I want the compression more apparent and musical. With auto enabled, the release time depends on the duration of program peaks, meaning BX Glue sets the release time automatically based on incoming audio.
You've got a mix knob that allows you to control the blend between the unprocessed and processed signal. This lets you apply parallel compression within the plugin instead of using an aux track. It's common to overcompress drums and blend in the dry signal to reintroduce transient material. This will give you a big and full drum sound that still feels punchy. It's possible to adjust the crossover, link the bands to varying degrees, and inversely adjust the balance of the lows and highs. To adjust the crossover frequency, either drag up or down on the value itself, or move the crossover point on the display up above. Frequencies below and above the crossover are compressed separately at band link values below 100%. For example, at 0%, a large peak in the low end won't trigger compression in the top end. This can lead to a more transparent sound, but if you overdo it, the two frequency ranges can start to sound detached, so just be mindful of that. The band tilt feature makes balancing the low end and top end easy. It applies inverse gain to the low and high bands. Turning it up boosts the top end and attenuates the low end, while turning it down has the opposite effect. You can sculpt the tone by applying XL saturation and choosing between two total harmonic distortion models and two transformer models. This is the same XL saturation found in other Brainworks products. It's great for thickening vocals, guitars, and drums. Don't be afraid to push this. You can drive it quite hard before heavy distortion sets in. The Total Harmonic Distortion or THD feature lets you toggle between two distortion modes or switch the feature off. In classic mode, the exact amount of THD generated in the analog circuit is added to the signal. Dirty mode hits the VCA's ceiling harder to add extra analog glue. A hardware compressor's transformer is responsible for a few different things. It deals with impedance matching, it can color the signal, reduce noise, and saturate your audio in a way that sounds warm and rich. The nickel setting has an open and airy character, while the iron setting leads to a grittier and more aggressive sound. There's options to control the input and output levels. This headroom control adjusts the volume before processing is applied and adds inverted gain to the output signal. It lets you adjust the level of audio material to accommodate different presets. For quick loudness matching, there's a built-in auto level feature that matches the output RMS level to the input RMS level.
You can apply a high pass filter to the internal sidechain signal or use an external signal as the sidechain source. It's also possible to blend the internal and external signals, causing BXGlue to respond to both. For even more control, you can solo the sidechain signal to hear what BXGlue is responding to. The emphasis section lets you emphasize frequencies pre-compression while de-emphasizing frequencies post-compression. Pre-emphasis causes BX glue to compress the frequency range you've targeted more aggressively, while de-emphasis rebalances the level offset. You can use this feature to tame harsh frequencies while minimally affecting the tonal balance of your subgroups and stereo bus. This graphic depicts the boost and cut applied to your signal pre-compression. You can modify the center frequency and choose between a tilt filter or tub filter. The stereo section gives you control over the width of your audio. Adjusting the mono maker sums the low end of your tracks into mono up to the selected frequency. If your bass feels like it's swallowing the mix, you can use this to increase low end focus. Width adjusts how wide your entire mix sounds. Values below 100 will make it narrower, and values above 100 will make it wider. Up top, there's a power button that bypasses the processing applied. You have the option to scale the GUI down to 50% and up to 150%. There's also undo and redo buttons. You can toggle between four banks of controls to compare different settings. It's also possible to copy the settings from one bank and paste them to another. If you want to clear a bank, you can reset its parameters. Ambience solos the difference between each band's input and output. This feature exists in other Brainworks products, but you'll also hear the effects of band link and emphasis applied to the signal, which is unique to BX Glue. There's three view modes to choose from that let you hide settings you're not using. A fun extra feature is the ability to change the UI color. To get started with BX Glue, begin a free Mega Plan trial using the link below to access all of Plugin Alliance's products for 30 days. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to the Plugin Alliance YouTube channel for more plugin walkthroughs like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.